tell us a little bit about your thoughts of virtues and how important they are. A lot of people don't even know what the word virtue means. Mm. They have to look it up. If I said to a young person today, you know, a young man, what, what virtues do you admire in a woman? They might start talking about their physical virtues mm. as opposed to understanding the concept of virtues. For me, virtues are those things that get you through the day, get you through your life. And then when it comes to business virtues, you've got to employ certain characteristics in your soft skill template in your business. Good example, last week you talked about courage. This week, for example, respect. What does respect as a virtue fit into the business that you run? Well, I respect my clients. I respect my customer. I respect my staff, I respect my colleague, I respect my boss, I respect my shareholders, I respect everyone who's a stakeholder in my business environment. environment. And what does respect mean? Well, respect means I treat people fairly. Um, I hold in regard, whether it's high regard it's another matter, but I hold in regard their opinion on something. If it's well thought, logical and fair, as opposed to being the opposite of those. I respect somebody irrespective of their race, their colour, their gender, religion, or their beliefs. It doesn't mean I have to believe in what they do or etc., but I respect their view and I respect, more importantly, I respect them in my business environment, irrespective of those things. In other words, those things are irrelevant, but in your business, those things do not count. Those things like religion, race, colour, blah, nothing to do with that person as a, a, a business person or person who is in my business environment. So respect is incredibly important and it cuts across the whole business in everything you do. And you must be consistent with your respect for how you interact with every part of the business and every person in the business male, female, or whatever other gender someone identifies with. What happens in a business when you don't apply respect, or you don't have that virtue? If you don't apply, for example, that particular virtue in a business, I've seen businesses become dysfunctional. Let's say, for example, you're the proprietor. You don't know what's happening below the surface because you don't respect them, they won't respect you. That is, the people who sit below the surface. And what's bubbling below the surface is unhappiness, because of the way perhaps they feel like you're treating them. Or well, maybe the way you're, they're treating you too. A lot of businesses can have dysfunction because of the lack of respect. People feel as though they just got been shit on from above. <laughs> in a disrespectful way, just because they're female and you're the male boss. Mm. Or there's three male bosses and some young female feels like she's been totally disrespected. Mm. And I don't mean in a sexual harassment way, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just intellectually, just as a person. Yeah. And, and because that person maybe not as, is maybe not as experienced as these three individuals. All those well paid or um, have a different role in responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's, and, it's, and irrespective of all that sort of, um, those machinations and those hierarchical hierarchical things, it doesn't mean that you can disrespect somebody because the net effect that it, of that is that it stuffs your business up. I actually have to go out of my way, and which I don't mind doing because it's worth it to me, it's my business. Yeah. Out of my way to show them that I respect them. Mm. And now, you know, we might wake up today tired or something might have pissed us off really bad. Deal with it, for sure. Be firm, straight to the point, be logical, but try and do it respectfully. And if you don't do it there and then, like if for some reason you think about it after the, oh, I might have gone a bit too hard there, then recontact and uh, re-establish your position mm. with them on a personal basis. Mm. Let them know that there was nothing personal meant there. Yeah. And I, that, I, I, I mean, I do it all the time because I mean, I often you know, go off on a tangent and forget what I'm doing, why I'm trying to do something, and I might say something, might use language or speed of the, the way in which I talk or the volume with which I talk or the tone in which I talk. I could be in a hurry, I've got, I've got no time to dilly-dally, so I just get to straight to the point. And it can be interpreted as being, or misinterpreted as being, oh, he doesn't give a shit about me. 
he doesn't think much of me. When in fact, actual fact, that's, that's not how I am. I'm actually, I'm on a mission to get something done. I'll think about it and I'll think to myself, hang on, you need to send a nice note back to them just to re-establish your position. No one's perfect. Yes. We all stuff it up. And breaking down respect, the word respect, in the dictionary, it's basically it's a sign of acknowledgement of a couple of things. It says uh, acknowledgement of attribute, of responsibility, outcomes. When you get an opportunity, just send them off an email, say, you know, you're doing a great job. I yeah. really like what you're doing. Or that, oh, that stuff looked great, looked mm -hmm. fantastic, fucking beautiful. Now you don't, I'm not saying do it all the time, you don't have to sugarcoat and carry on about it, but it's just ad hoc. It's just, when you think about it, just do it. And then just try and spread the love around a little bit, you know, like try and just push it around a little bit. And even if, even if you're not genuinely feeling that, then you know, that, that, on that particular day, just do it as a function. Yeah. Just, just say it's a functional thing. It's a it's part of my day-to-day -day job. People don't sit there and say, "Oh, did you really mean that?" Um, they're not going to come up to you and say, "Excuse me, I mean, I don't think you really meant that," or "Did you mean that?" They're not going to. They just want a, a little bit of feedback. Yes. You know, just say, "Good job." That's all you need to say. Smile. But smile, smile always, always helps. You know, if you smile at people, they like that. Talk to them. Have a mag. I mean, I, it's a big word. Lots of songs about it. Respect, it's a big word. Really important business virtue. It's what I call a soft skill. And you've got, and if you're the proprietor, and by the way, if you're just working in a business as well, or if you're on your way up in through a business, make sure you get these business virtues down pat. And it's not hard. You know, we all have access to a browser. Type in the word virtues and go and see what the great philosophers have said about the virtues. Find out which ones that you can apply to your business and then practice them.